So I've been receiving a lot of comments saying that Teresa's DLC is literally the best and that it helps us understand her on a more deeper level. So now, I know much, so now I really want to play it. So that's what we're going to do today. And also, a little announcement. Hey, lad! Don't you want yes? a little wager on the Rattay Tourney? Not at the moment, Peshek. So, a little announcement. I've decided to post KCD videos every Monday. You guys seem to be enjoying this series, so here you go. And now, let's get into it. So I know it's not necessary, but... I like to start the day with a freshly cut mustache and a good bath. And also, you have been telling me that if I punch a chicken, I can get food for mutt. So, nobody's gonna miss you, right? <laughs> Great. Where's Mutt? Ah! Come here, boy. Look here you go. For you. You'll love this. Some chicken. Great! I leveled up! God's blessings! And to you as well, I would like to use the bathhouse services. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. And what is it you'd like? A good shave, heal my wounds, bath and laundry. Just a bath and a good wash. Proper bath. And my clothes need washing. But of course, money first though. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. I do hope so, but I'm sure I will. Perfect, but also a clean shave because I'm speaking to Teresa today. I'd like to uh, order something here. So what are you interested in? I would like to order the same mustache I have. I'd like that. Thank you. But of course, money for... Great! Thank you, Bath Mama. I'll go back to Teresa now. <gasps> Teresa! Henry, I'm so glad to see you. And me as well. So I think this is the icon for her DLC. How did you manage to survive? What actually happened to you in Scalix? I mean, during the attack and... Well, you know. That's a long story. Not a very cheerful one. Are you sure you want to hear it now? I do. I do. All right then. It was a day like any other. Another ordinary day in my ordinary life. <coughs> I awoke at first light, before the others. I like those kind of mornings best.
when the first rays of sunshine quickly drive away the nighttime cold. And the breeze carries the scent of dew covered grass and the bloom of spring. That was your dog. I wanted to get my chores done before the rest of the household was up. And this morning seemed made for that very purpose. Right, better get to skeletons. I have to feed the hens, weed the garden, feed Tinker. I'd better get it all done before Papa is up. Weed the garden? I'm Teresa! I have lady slippers, mother's necklace, my ni nightgown, and a simple... Sir coat? And I'm in scallops, right? Okay. So this is Weed the Garden. I should maybe start with that. What about a bath? Okay. How fun! Everybody is asleep. And what's your name? Tinker. Okay. So what should I do? Is that a weed? It must have been very dangerous for a girl in the medieval times. And I think about that sometimes. If I would survive, what kind of life I would have. It's weird, but it makes you wonder. I mean, we often think about the medieval times as cool period like with all the armor the knights the sword but as a girl it doesn't seem that exciting in terms of the type of life you would have. Am I done with the weeding? That should Herbalism. Do the garden is looking how it should again. Great. What's next? So we have... Feed Tinker. With what? Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. I have nothing. <laughs> well... There are some chickens here. Would Teresa punch a chicken though? I don't think so. Get the chicken feed. Okay, let's do that last. The chicken feed. Chicken feed. There's something else. I must the bring chickens. Tinker a piece of meat. That'll be a nice treat. 
Look in the pantry. I don't think Tinker likes apples. What is this? A piece of meat. Let's do that. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. There you go. Great. Here, checky, checky, checky. Here. Here you are, girls. Fill your beaks. Aww. Talk to father. I'm here, father. What do you want? You're like a lost soul. Why? How can I help? What do you need, papa? Go up and see the blacksmith. He made some nails for me. Here's some coin. Okay. All right. Anything else while I'm at it? No. Unless you want to stop off at the market and buy some supplies. And before you go, wake Samuel. The boy's still lying in bed and won't stir. You ought to follow your example and Stebor's. You two don't have to be pushed to work. Well, at least he's still better than that good-for-nothing's Bishek. The lazy wretch. A helper like that isn't worth a damn. If it weren't for his father, God rest his soul, I'd have thrown him out on his ear long ago. I don't know what an idler is. Don't be so hard on him. Now, father, you shouldn't be so hard on Zabishek. You know he hasn't had an easy life. And who has, girl? That's no excuse for laziness. You could tell him to get his ass to work, too. Right. Go for nails, send Samuel and Zabishek to work. If it's at all possible. Aye, just so. Oh, and Teresa, once you've done all your chores for the day, I have a little surprise for you. <gasps> a surprise? Don't you want to tell me now? A surprise, Pa? Don't you want to tell me about it now? Curiosity killed the cat. What kind of surprise would it be if I told you, girl? Oh, all right. But wait! The blacksmith. That would be Henry's father. Right? So this is right before the attack. Or pretty close to it. Okay, let's wake Zbizek. Who are you, Stibor? Zbizek. Well, you're up. You should get to work? Pa says you're idle, and if you carry on like that, he'll throw you out. Oh. Ah! Why would he do that? Then he'd be left only with Stibor, and Stibor is not going to break his back working either. Come now. Be sensible. Listen, Zbizek. Pa's not happy with you, and if he says you're idling, you'd better make a bit of effort. I'm only telling you for your own good. You wouldn't want to lose your job now, would you? You lot are always going on about work as if it was a blessing from heaven. All right, all right. I'll get to work. Anything for a bit of peace. That's more like it. You'll see it doesn't hurt. He sleeps there. Hmm. So, wake Samuel. He's up there.
Aha. Get up, brother. Sammy, get up. It's broad daylight and the birds are singing. Yeah, yeah, I'm up, I'm up. Have a bite to eat before going to the mine. All right, Ma. He works in the mine. You don't have to treat me like a child. Looks like it'll be nice today, eh? Hmm. I could go to the pond fishing. But you have to go to work. I know. But maybe I can slip off after lunch. There will be no slipping off. You know very well Namoy has been complaining about you. What, about dropping that pail on Tonda's head? <laughs> it was an accident. Not the first accident you've had, though, was it? Well, there you go, then. If I leave early, nothing will happen to anyone. And you can cook the fish for lunch tomorrow. You silly sod. All you ever do at the pond is lie around. The only thing you'll catch is more trouble from the mine master when he finds out. Well, if you're not a child, you can sort it out yourself with Namoy. Don't I always? Huh. Do I have skills? And where's my mother? have skills but no perk points <laughs> so I have to go to the village okay what's that though unexplored place I could do it later Such a what? Such a know-it-all. All you're good for is sitting in a tavern with other know-it-alls, bemoaning your station. But devil a thing do you do about it. So you Jack is already job. in trouble. You're of no use to life. Too delicate to stand the smell of manure. While the likes of you sleep in it. And I studied so I wouldn't have to do such menial labor as you. You... You... What? He has an you education? Better to have shit in a stable than in your head. Those books of yours are of no use in the real world of ordinary people. What's going on? What are you two quarreling about here, for the love of God? This pipsqueak here claims studying is as hard a job as working in the stables. I most certainly did not, because study is of course much harder work than mucking out a bit of horse manure. See? That's it's what I'm talking Bizek. about. And yet it's as clear as day. Hang on. What's as clear as day? That study is as hard as mucking out stables, if not harder. A man who doesn't work with his hands is an idler and a good for nothing. Am I wrong? Uh oh. <laughs> I have some questions. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions before answering. What's this caller doing in Scalitz? You're a scholar. What are you doing in Scalitz? I'm on my way to Sassar with letters. This ingrate here is stabling my horse overnight before I continue my journey. Well, you shouldn't insult him. Why do you think your work is harder? What does your work involve, student? I'm no student, but a baccalaureus. Having completed the trivium of the Faculty of Liberal Arts in the University of Prague, Grammar, rhetoric, huh. and dialectics are my work. While this yokel wouldn't be capable even of learning Latin. Father arranged that I will serve as a teacher in Kuttenberg for two years before returning to the university to attend the quadrivium. To teach and be taught, that is real work. It's just different. I didn't realize they had universities at that time. Where do you serve? You serve Sir Radzik at the castle, don't you, Master Groom? Aye, and Sir Radzik is very pleased with my work. I can be rightly proud of what I do, and I bring oh, home a nice wage, too. 
The children are fed, and the wife can buy herself a nice scarf from time to time. I'm satisfied with my lot. How many people can say that? Why do you think your work is better? What's so hard about your job, Master Groom? That's real work. Not like this parasite here does. On my feet from dawn till dusk, feeding, mucking out, grooming. By evening, I'm dead on my feet. I'm doing something real, see? Something that makes sense. Horses are needed for work, for the lords, for riding out, even in times of war. And someone has to care for those horses. All this good for nothing can do is mouth off. But he'd never be able to do a real job. Hmm. So I don't know if it That's matters. All I need today. But I think they're both right. You're both right. But not one of you has a grain of sense. <laughs> work is work, whether it's done with your hands or your mm. heart. Well said. Ah, rhetoric worthy of Socrates himself, and out of the mouth of a woman. I bow to you, good maiden. The professors of Prague could learn a thing or two from you. Are you saying this good-for-nothing here who has to beg for his beer at the tavern is my equal? But to hell with it. I won't argue. Okay. Well, glad I solved that. <laughs> So we have Good miners. Day. Herbs, we have... fresh or dried. They'll help with every pain and ailment. A peddler. Greetings. What does he sell? Huh, digestive potion? Ah, reduces overstuffing. We have the Lazarus Potion, a preserver. Okay, and he sells flowers. Well, we don't need that. Not at the moment. Who's there? Matthias? So that's Henry's friend. I can't speak with him. Herbs, fresh or dried. They'll help with every pain and ailment. Can I pet that dog? I can't. Oh, I remember. I remember this house. Good morning. What's new? What's new in the village? There's Give to be a dance this evening. All Again. the gossip. Can we not find some other way to enjoy ourselves for a change? Harvest festival, Pentecost festival, dances, church, and dances again. <laughs> what she else would it? we do for fun? <laughs> I heard they have combat tournaments in Rate sometimes. The men put on shining armor. And folk can watch them battering each other. She wants that to see that. That lovely to watch. Why can't we have something like that once in a while? After all, Sir Radzik is the royal hetman. But for a tournament, you need knights. We don't have enough here in Scalitz. Ah, but Sir Hanish's tournay in Rate is even for commoners. Even our fellows could enroll there. Oh my god, don't say that too loud. I can just imagine how my brothers would be tripping over each other to enroll. They wouldn't be the only ones, would they? How about that Henry? He's always waving that wooden sword around like you'd think he was getting ready to go on crusade. But there's an interesting thought now. Which of our fellows do you think would win? Uh, I have a little crush on Henry, so I'm going to say him. Henry would win for sure. He's always practicing with that wooden sword, like you say. And besides, he's a blacksmith's son. They're always strong from hammering iron all day. Do you think so? <laughs> Don't say anything, but I think that Henry's a bit of a fool. And he doesn't overwork himself at that forge. Anyway, enough about tourneys. I must be on my way. Take care. 
What a fun little chat. We get all the good gossip. Who are you? Oh, I remember Scallets. <gasps> I'm gonna see Henry. That's so interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. Is she my I rival or my friend? What do you need? Bianca, how come you're up so bright and early? Papa has me running around from dawn till dusk. You know how it is. Indeed I do. I'm glad you're here, Tess. You've got to help me with something. But first, can you go and see Henry for me? He's at the sheepfold by the stockade, as usual. <laughs> oh? Playing around with wooden swords again? Hi. He's getting ready for the life of a mighty warrior. Well, look at friends. Now he'll be able to protect you from outlaws with wooden swords. <laughs> oh well, boys and their games. Listen, would you bring him a beer for me? But why don't you bring it yourself? If Pa saw me running after Henry, he'd tan my hide. But I can't leave him dry in this heat. All right, I'll bring the beer to him. Thanks. That's nice. And don't forget to tell him it's from me. Everyone knows all the beer in Scallops is from you and your pa. <laughs> you know what I mean. And listen, Tess. Once you've given him the beer, come back to me again. Meanwhile, I'll make an excuse to pa. I need you to go somewhere with me. But I'll tell you all about it after. Run along before the beer gets warm. Hmm. Not sure I want to help her Here we are. get frisky with Henry. Here, just as you ordered. Okay. I shouldn't be talking to medieval boys, but. Good day! What's new? What news, neighbor? News? Have you not heard, girl? The Empire is falling asunder under the hands of the King. How do you mean? King Sigismund of Hungary besieged Kuttenberg, and quite rightly too, in my opinion, because King Wenceslas' rule is no rule at all. I am not the only one who would rather see his brother Sigismund on the throne. Oof. I don't know, it's all the same to me. Such affairs have nothing to do with the likes of me. What I care about is how much grain we have to keep the mill making a living for us. Affairs of state are the concerns of royalty and nobility. You're quite right. A woman should not trouble her heart with political matters. You I knew he would say that. Back to your chores, though that you do not make your father angry, no? And you to your beer, sir. And bye. And bye bye Okay. I shouldn't idle too, too much, but it's fun. The charcoal burner. Am I friends with anyone other than Bianca? Maruna? Good morning. Any news, Maruna? Good well, to you too. there's a peculiar fellow standing by the potters on the outskirts, selling strange trinkets, relics, and the like, and he's got a peculiar talk to go with it. Peculiar? Really? In what way? Well, I went to see what he was selling and greeted him politely, and he started on about how I'm a pretty girl and what have you. What's so strange about that? Fellas are always talking to girls that way if they don't wear a wife's scarf. Ah, but that's not all. He started on about how we're different from one another, men and women like, and in a vulgar way too. How do women differ from men? 
So, what did he say was the difference between men and women? He said, a woman's body is the opposite of a man's. <laughs> but they've got their, you know, outside. Why would you say that to a stranger? Inside. And that it's because men have more heat inside their bodies, and that pushes their things out. But we're <sighs> colder, and so we've got it inside. Do you think it's true? he says what is going on it's nonsense it sounds like a lot of nonsense to me maybe he was just trying to seduce you <laughs> then he's an even bigger madman than I took him for I'd rather not say anything on the subject yeah. take care of yourself Marina I shall back away from this conversation Bring beer to Henry. Let's do that. Where should I get the nails first? Of Where is he? Where can he be? Her mother? Oh. God's blessings. Father sent me for nails. Father sent me to pick up nails, but there's no one at the fort. Aye, uh, sorry, lass. Martin had to go to the castle to talk to Sir Radzig. He's to forge a sword for his lordship. Oh, I see. And has he made the nails for Pa? I'm afraid he hasn't had time on account of that sword. But if you come tomorrow, he'll surely have them for you. I'll remind him this evening. All right. So this is the day before. Do that, dear. Oh, and by the way, the girls were looking for you. I the talked girls. to Bianca. Was someone else looking for me? Aye, your hanker too. She ought to be home now, if you want to stop by and see her before you go home. What was it about? They didn't say, but it seemed important, which probably means boys, I suppose, eh? <laughs> of course, what else? There's no harm in that, is there, good wife? You were young yourself once and went dancing with boys. Oh, so I'm an old woman now, am I? Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm only teasing you, girl. Dancing is just what you young ones should be doing. Make the most of it while you can. Before you know it, your pa will find you a husband, and you'll have a pack of children to take care of. <laughs> Let's Great. hope it's not too soon. Can't wait. Thanks for letting me My know. My pa I'll stop by tomorrow will find for me a husband. Not at all. Have you seen Henry around anywhere? If he helped his father out more at the forge, there'd be no shortage of nails. I haven't seen him at all. No doubt he's at that sword play with that so-called combat master again. If he could wield a hammer half as good as a wooden sword, there'd be no shortage of nails. Okay, I'll go see Henry. And you, Wonka. I didn't see her. My father choosing my husband. I think not. He's there. God be with you, Henry. Mind you don't get hurt. Good day, Teresa. I brought you a beer. I brought you a beer. I'd say you'd need it after a hard battle. Ah, great. It's as hot as Pa's Forge out here today. That's very sweet of you to get me a beer. I mean, 
I'm gonna tell him the truth. It's from Bianca. Actually, Bianca sent it. Her pa doesn't want her to come here. Ah, I see. I'll make it up to her this evening. Oh, I no. don't know how. <laughs> how come you're training on your own today? You're usually here with that vagabond. What's his name? Vanyek. And he's not a vagabond. He's a wayfaring combat master. Well, it looks like he's off wayfaring somewhere else today. Yeah, <laughs> more likely sleeping off last night's boozing. Actually, since I've no opponent today, wouldn't you like to have a go? I mean, a bit of swordplay. I could teach you. Me? Swordplay? Sure. Why not? Of course, I accept. All right, then. Who do you think I, I am? I accept your challenge, young sir. But I must warn you, I can swat a mouse with a broom with my eyes closed. Yeah, I knew you had the heart of a warrior. Let's go, then. This is so cute! They would practice sword fights? Come on then. Show me what you're made of. So I don't I have the master strike, of course. What if I hurt you though? Ah, don't worry. I can handle it. I'm sure he can. He's gonna hit me? block? No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so funny. You missed me! Too much because I don't have any skills. Not the big. <laughs> you miss me again. Ow. Wow. Don't go easy on me, Hal. Ah, very good. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> oh. Henry, really? Now that is hardly chivalrous behavior. Now, I shall have to fight for my honor. Take that, you scoundrel! Oh. <gasps> Are you all right? It's nothing. I'm fine. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't mean to. Are you mad at me? No, of course not. It's my own stupid fault. Wait. Well, that'll teach you to go around slapping decent, God-fearing girls on the backside. <laughs> didn't we start the game? Let me have a look at it. No, no, With Henry, who had a wound on his hand? And I didn't mean to, you know. Yes, you did. Ah, oh, really? It's nothing. Oh you my know gosh. how it is, Hal. He who lives by the sword. Dies by the splinter, eh? <laughs> That's how he got hurt. There now. Whoa! <gasps> she <laughs> she's drinking the beer. <laughs> By the way, you owe Bianca for that beer. Mm hmm Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Well, 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 the more you know. Um... Uh...
Now, Bianca wanted to know, right? God safe. What can I do for you? What else was it you wanted from me? You brought that beer to Henry, then? I did. Uh -huh. It tasted great. And I what mean... Did he say? Nothing much. He said thanks. That's about it. Huh. That's just like him. All right. But now I can tell you what I wanted. Fancy a walk in the woods? Right now? You want to court me in the shade of the pines? <laughs> no. I need to big herbs for distilling schnapps. Henry's favorite. Oh, we can do that. What herbs do you what need? What herbs do you need? I've got almost everything, except belladonna. I know a clearing where the best plants grow. Belladonna? But that's deadly poison. It is, if you don't know what you're doing. But don't worry, I haven't poisoned anyone yet. Why don't you go yourself? Why don't you go and pick it yourself? Pa won't let me go on my own. They say a wolf was seen in the woods recently. A wolf? A wolf? Hereabouts? So they say. But it was old Blaha who claimed to see it, and he's never sober. Still, I wouldn't want to go there alone. Couldn't your brother go with you? Adam, he'd shit himself if he saw a wolf. And besides, someone has to take care of the tavern. But he could lend us his bow. Yes. Good thinking, Tess. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Henry again. Henry's favorite. I see. Yes. I'd like to give it to him tomorrow. I might have known it'd be about Henry again. Well, you know how it is, Tess. Don't worry. You'll find a fellow one day. That's easy Good to day, say Teresa. when you work in a tavern where there are fellas swarming around you all day. All I see at the mill are sacks of flour. What about Zbyshek? Zbyshek? I'd rather settle for a sack of flour. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I suppose. Your pa would never let Zbyshek have you anyway. Not long ago, when he had a few too many, I heard him say how he was going to get you the richest husband for miles around. Oh, pa. I hope that yeah, was just but the, the richest. Talking. Are not so, always the best. You're going to borrow a bow from Adam, and then you want me to go with you to pick Belladonna in the woods. Actually, it's not entirely that simple. Adam won't lend me his bow. The last time he did, I broke the string. I could You'll talk have to, to him. Get it from him. Anyway, I don't know how to shoot, but Stibor taught you, didn't he? Yeah, but that was a long so time she ago. Fights a little. It doesn't matter. If the wolf sees a bow, he won't come near us. So will you go and ask Adam? You know he's always liked you. Just give him a wink and the bow is yours. You might be able to do that with Henry, but me? Well, come now. You're as pretty as any lass in the province. And once you've thanks, got the bow, I guess. meet me on the bridge by the lake, alright? Sure, I'll help you. All right, I'll help you. But next time I want something from you, I don't want to hear any excuses about how you have to see Henry. Deal. You're an angel, Tess. Oh my gosh. But... Oh. Thanks, Bianca. Oh, or not. I should go see Yuanka and then tell my papa I didn't get the nails. Wait. Yuanka, can you come here a minute? Sure. What do you need? Yuanka, what's up? I was asking around for you. There's something we have to talk about are you going to okay. the dance this evening i'd like to go and have a look if i have time for it why do you want to borrow my dress no no nothing like that 
I've got a dress, but I don't want to end up dancing on my own, if you know what I mean. You want me to get you a fella? You want me to find you a dancing partner? No, not quite. I've already picked one. Okay. Mm, let me guess. Matthias? I? Who else? So, what's the problem? Just go and tell him. You've had your eye on him since the Harvest Festival. Surely you must have noticed by now. He hasn't. Aww. I'm at a loss what to do. So you want to go with Matthias, but you don't want to invite him. So you'd like Matthias to take you to the dance, but you don't want to tell him? That's right. How in heaven's name do you want to do it then? Easy. You're going to steal his lucky dice. What? How? How is that supposed to help, yeah. for Christ's sake? If you can get your hands on it without him noticing, he'll be looking everywhere for it. He'll be wandering around saying to himself, Where did I put that damned dice? And then I'll turn up. God be with you, Matthias. You didn't by any chance lose your dice. <laughs> and he'll say, Ah, your hanker. I did. Where on earth did you find it? Oh, I found it near the tavern. You know there's going to be a dance there this evening. And then he'll finally get the message. Oh, the dance. Yes. Johanka, wouldn't you like to go with me? Of course. I'd love to go with you, Matthias. Thank you for asking. <laughs> then he'll take me by the hand and he'll look <clears throat> never mind that what um, <laughs> what is he gonna look well at? that's how it's going to help more or less that's a nice fairy tale she thought about that for way too long you painted a very pretty picture no doubt but do you think it'll really work i'm absolutely sure it will poor girl i'll help you all right then I'll help you. Thank you, Tess. Bring the dice to me as soon as you have it. Hang on, though. How am I supposed to find it? He was saying at the tavern yesterday that he keeps it in his trunk when he's not going to play. Go and see Fritz first. I heard he's Fritz. always got some lockpicks, whatever he wants <laughs> them for. Anyway, sure. no doubt he can show you how to use one. Me? Pick locks? Yo, Honka, aren't you going a bit too far? Well, then... Maybe you can get hold of his key somehow. But whatever you do, don't get caught. And not a word to Matthias, for the love of God. Of course. Oh my gosh, such an elaborate plan. Oh my gosh, okay. I'll just go see my papa first. Well... No, it's right there, so... Bring Matthias Lucky Dice, okay. Okay, I'll go see Fritz. For a lockpick. I can't believe it. Is that Fritz? Fritz! Be with you and you as well um what's new what's new fritz i don't know oh actually i do know there's gonna be a dance this evening are you going maybe i've got a lot to do still i don't want to go with they fritz. say he's gonna carry on tomorrow too and they'll be roasting a pig can't miss that so i heard i wonder how come sir radzig allowed it no, it wasn't his lordship's idea. It was Master Faithfars. Master Tobias? Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe he just wants to show off his wealth. I'd have roast pig and dancing every evening if I had his coin. I'm sure you would. About lockpicks. Listen, Fritz, I hear you know something about opening locks without a key. Sure. All you have to do is charge at the door, shoulder first. 
I don't want to break down a door. I want to pick a lock. <laughs> ah, you want a lock pick then? Shh, not so loud. Well, I can give you some. But you know what they say. Not even a pig grunts for free. What does he want? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Who says that? Ah, uh, mostly me. And everyone thinks it's fucking clever. So bugger off. No. How about for free? Hey, Fritz. How about giving me a couple of lock picks for free, eh? After all, we've known each other since we were little. All right. Yes. But just this time. If you break them, don't expect to get more for free. Just two? You said a couple, didn't you? Okay. Thank you. Should I... Hmm. Should I take a skill first? In lockpicking. I don't have any perk points though. My reputation is pristine. I don't have any perk points. Okay. Good day. A good day to you as well. Tell me, Matthias, what do you think of Johanka? Johanka? Yeah, she's a nice girl. She helped the lads and me out of a few scrapes. Actually, she's always been good to us. Why do you ask? Okay. So he's favorable. I'm not going to tell him. I was just curious. That's all. And I shall lure him. Listen, Matthias. Fritz and Matthew? Fritz and Matthew have been looking for you. It seemed very important. You should hurry. Really? That's funny. I can't imagine what it's about. But if it's as urgent as you think, I'd better go and see what's up. <laughs> yes, you better go. Hurry. Now I shall enter your home. I'm trespassing. Oh, she's here. <gasps> It's nothing. Where is the chest? Can I speak with you? Hey! Okay. Is the chest in the house? I'm sure it is. So how am I supposed to do that? Maybe I could sneak. It's supposed to be very easy, so let's try it. for me don't come here I'm not doing anything I suppose it was nothing exactly it was nothing 
Does she hear me when I try to lockpick? Hopefully not. Okay, let's try to do this. his dice. Let's not be mean. Great! Nothing to see here. There you go, God girl. Safe. God bless. What can I help you with? About Matthias. About Matthias. Yes? Tell me everything. I got the dice. I brought you his dice. I knew you'd do it. Thanks. This is great. I'll bring it to him. Keep your fingers crossed for me. What if he doesn't know that he lost it and then you just have his dice? It's not going to go well for you. I want to see what she says. Herbs, fresh or dried. They'll help with every pain and ailment. God be with you, Matthias. Listen, I found this dice. I believe it's yours. My dice? But how? I thought it was in my trunk. No, I found it outside. It was lying on the ground by the tavern, where the dance is going to be this evening. That's odd. I could have sworn I put it away. Can I have it back? People will be dancing all around there. They'd trample it into the ground for sure. It's a good thing I spotted it. Although, I don't suppose I'll be dancing this evening. No one's asked me. <laughs> She's I making see. it so obvious. Uh, the dice? He's Please? not asking her. I put on a very pretty dress. And after the dance, I'd walk home with the boy who danced with me. If anyone asked me. I'll take you, alright? And you'll give me my dice back. Really? He just wants his you dice? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Doesn't seem excited about it. Right. Sure. Oh, come on. Wait! What about my God dice? be with you, Teresa. Oh, <laughs> okay, well. I'm gonna go see Adam. I think we saw Alex before. Where was he? Adam? Oh, Adam? God be with you. And with you as well. Can I have your bow, sir? I heard you're a really good archer. And that you've even got your own bow. Uh, yeah. I've got a bow. I made it myself. And I can hit the tree behind the tavern at 20 paces. Good heavens, that's amazing. <laughs> Um, would you lend me your bow for a while? Lend my bow? To a girl? Well, I don't know, Teresa. Not just any girl. So this is higher. Lend it to me. Oh, and I'll go dancing with you. Can't resist that. Hey, Adam. If you lend me a bow, I'll dance and it's with just you a dance. the next celebration. Oh? You would? Really? Alright, here's the bow then. And some arrows. Take it all. Thank you so much, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Is
It's just a dance. So it's fine, right? Now, to see Bianca. Here. I've got the bow. We can get going. Great. Come with me. It's so pretty. An accident? Where? Oh my gosh! Wait, I just want to see. Uh, he was drinking and he drowned. Finders keepers! <laughs> Sorry, hey, come on, Bianca. A There's a magpie's nest somewhere on that tree. Last time I was passing here, I saw that bird carrying something shiny to its nest. Okay. Listen, since you've got a bow, why not try and shoot the nest down? Adam does it all the time, so I'm sure there's nothing to it. Oh, you're sure there's nothing to it? I have 20 arrows. But, ah, oh, it's right there. Hmm, okay, let's try to get it. I wonder what could be in that nest. Hmm. Quake before the magpie comes back. I'm not getting it. I wonder what could be in that nest. It's not falling. Wait before the magpie comes back. Bianca. I need to get it. I don't have any arrows anymore. What a stupid thing Wait to do. The magpie it's not so easy shooting down a nest. Give me a little time. Come on. I wonder what's in it. We'll see. I don't have any arrows anymore, though. Can I find them? I shot them so far! I don't think I'm gonna find my arrows. Come on! I can't find my arrows in the grass. That's just not happening. What if I punch this? He doesn't punch the tree. Okay. What about that nest, Tess? Well, if something happens, I have nothing to defend myself now. So... Your brother can shoot at nests if he must, but I won't do it. That poor magpie has to have a place to live. How would you like it if some giant came along and destroyed your home? <laughs> You're mad. You are. All right. Suit yourself. Let's keep going. Hopefully nothing happens. Accident. I wonder what happened here. I saw it the last time. But no one it. Hopefully not. I thought you didn't believe in the wolf. I don't. I, I didn't. Better keep going. Come on. 
Give me one second. One second. I need to have a weapon. Well... I'm coming, but... What's in there? We are. We can go now. That's so dangerous. There could be bandits. There could be... Anything, really. She goes deep in the woods. It's not safe, Bianca. It's true that I have Tinker, at least. This is the place. I'll start picking, and you keep a lookout. I'll keep watch then. All right, I'll keep watch. Just make it quick. There's as something much as I can carry. Uh oh. <gasps> no. Help! It's a wolf. wolf. It's a dog. Wolf. Adam. Come on, my dog. Doesn't. Should we just run? <gasps> I wish I could do something, but. <gasps> no! I punched Tinker! <laughs> Doesn't look like a wolf, though. I keep on punching Tinker. Move! Get him! To heal, Tinker! I killed him. Tinker! That was close. There's a good doggy. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Bianca. Did she just run off? Leaving me there? She's not a great friend. There you are. Those rumors about a wolf were just idle talk. Idle talk, indeed. If I'd like been a alone, dog, that but... beast would surely have devoured me. Are you all right? Did anything happen to you? <sighs> no, I'm fine. Thank God. It's a good thing you came along. 
Did you manage to pick enough herbs? Yeah, I did. Fortunately. I'll brew plenty of that liquor. Enough for you, too. As a reward. All right. Great. Thanks. That was a funny-looking wolf, don't you think? I reckon it was actually a wild dog. Yeah. Wolf Could still be dog. dangerous, though. It was a monstrous beast. Henry will never believe this. Okay. I think we did everything. We should go back. Go back to father. Come, Tinker. My papa said he had a surprise for me. So I wonder what it is. I hope it's not a husband. What's going on? It's a very serious crime, stealing the king's silver. Stealing the king's silver is a capital crime. You get the pie for that. Why do you keep going on about it? What's it got to do with me? I keep telling you, I don't know nothing about any silver. I'm a miller. Flour is what I know about. If someone's stealing silver from the mines, why don't you talk to the mint master about it? Well, we did. He was the one that brought it up. It's our job what to happened? Ask everyone who lives nearby if they saw anything suspicious. Then good luck with that. Because in case you haven't noticed, everyone around here lives near the mines. Aye, but some live closer than others. And then there's also the fact that... How to put it? We're asking you because... Well, you're a miller, right? Oh, I see. And? Since I'm a miller, I must be a crook. Is that it? No, but you know what they say. Aye. What did they say? They say you lot can hardly find your own asses. Never mind a thief. You're keeping me from my work, young fellas. So if we're done here, farewell and good luck. All right, Miller. If you should happen to hear anything, let us know. Uh, Papa. The nails aren't done. I went for those nails, but the blacksmith is with Sir Radzik today. All right, leave it till tomorrow then. No hurry. Right now, I need something else. Quick. What's what up? do you need? The guards were here asking around. They said someone's been stealing silver from the mines. Yeah? Can you go and tell Stebor? He went to check the fish trap below the bridge. <gasps> sure, I can mm. do that. All right. I see what's happening I'll here. go and talk I to think. him. Stebor. That could be... That could be bad if we're stealing silver. The guards were here. Pa sent me. The guards were here asking about silver going missing from the mines. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh -oh. All right. All right. Listen, Tess. I need your help. Not so fast. Yeah. First, tell me what Don't the put hell me in danger. is going on. All right. Look. How can I put it? Spit it out. Otherwise, you're on your own. Yeah. All right. Pa came up with a nice little job. It's quite easy to sneak silver ore out of the mines, and he found this wealthy fella who offered to buy it. So, well, it does lead back to us. The missing silver is ours. Oh, no. Merciful God. I need your help, Teresa. Depends. Sweet Jesus. You fellas haven't the sense you were born with. But family is family. Exactly. Of course Thanks, I'm gonna help Tess. my family. I'm sorry to drag you into it, but I can't manage it on my own. Where did you hide it? That's the thing. It's at the bottom of a flooded shaft. Samuel was working there before. You dragged Samuel into it too? No, no. Samuel knows nothing about it. 
So why don't you just go and get it? I don't know how to get to it. For heaven's sake, Stebor. Do you know where it is or not? Yes, but you see, when I was carrying it out, they stopped me. I was standing on this wooden walkway and I dropped it over the edge so they wouldn't catch me with it. And now I don't know how to get to it. All I know is it made a splash when it fell. And how are we supposed to find it? Go crawling through the whole mine? No, I've got an idea. Samuel knows that area. He he'll know how to get to the shaft. Oh no, Stebor, forget it. You're not going to drag Samuel into your dangerous games. Christ, no. What do you take me for? All he has to do is draw a map, and we'll do the rest. I've got a question. Wait. I want to ask you something. How did you get mixed up in this? Not long ago, I saw Pa hauling a sack of silver ore. I kept asking about it, and in the end he had to tell me what was going on. God almighty! The king's silver? If you have to steal, couldn't you take something that wouldn't cost you your lives as well as your souls? Around here? Like what? Cabbages? Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? You're not going to mint your own coin, surely? Of course not. We just sell it to someone, but Pa deals with that. I don't know much about it. Why are you helping him? Well... He always gives me some of the money he makes from it. Money won't mm. be much use to either of you on the pyre. They're all mixed up in it. Where do you take now the me silver? too. Pa takes care of that. Someone comes to pick it up. Who does? Some slimy kind of fella. I don't know what his name is. He serves some lord, but I don't even think Pa knows who that is. Really? Huh. That's all I want to know for now. Are you sure it's the same shaft where Samuel was working? Definitely. There's no other flooded shaft in the mine. Remember when everyone was talking about how they hit a spring and had to abandon it? I'll get you the map. Right, Stebor. I'll go to Samuel and get the map from him. Have you got something I can give him to draw it with? Here. Give him this. I'll try to get it from him without giving the game away. Otherwise Pa will have a fit if he finds out. I'll do what I can. Where is Sammy now? Where do you think? I saw him heading for the fish pond, as usual, to avoid work. Once you have it, come and meet me at Wenceslas Corridor on the hill. I'll be waiting there. Oh my gosh. This is... this is really bad news. Because stealing from the mines is considered stealing from the king. They call him they call it the king silver, I think. Hear ye, hear ye, relics of the rarest kind, blessed by the Pope himself, and guaranteed to ward off ghosts and demons. <laughs> Is he the weird guy? Charlatan. What are these peculiar goods you're selling here? Things that bring good luck. Or bad, if that's what's needed. What are you after? No, wait, don't tell me. I, I know just what your heart desires. He's gonna I say have love. here an amulet that oh. will ensure your safety and your whole family's forever. Girls like you are always keen to have one. Really? An amulet can do that? It's Most not gonna work. Most assuredly. Ah, but unfortunately, I, I just sold the last one. Come on. However, I do have something even better. What is it? A map. Have you heard of the Scarlet's treasure? Scarlet's treasure? No. My dear child, you ought to ask your parents about it. Everyone knows about the Scarlet's treasure. But no one knows that I have a map to it. Then why don't you dig it up yourself? <laughs> Me? A spiritual man? <laughs> Please. I have no interest in worldly wealth. But 
You can have it for only a few groschen. <laughs> if it leads How to much treasure, it? as you say, how could I refuse? It's only 20 groschen. What do you say to this? That's not enough. Okay. Well? Here you have it. Happy hunting. Great. And what do you sell? Kif, what is that? A rare crystal. That's so interesting. He sells... Huh, what is this? I have stuff I could sell. I learned language and literature. So now I have a map. Can I read that? Maybe we'll see better on the map if we compare. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Aha! What are you doing there? You look like a little hobbit. Good day. About the mine shaft. Sammy, I need something from you. Oh, Tess, I just got ready for fishing. Don't worry, you don't have to go anywhere. Remember that mine shaft where you used to work before it got flooded? Yeah, it was a deep one. We went down that morning, and we were up to our knees in water. Master Fafar said that always happens when you dig deeper than the drainage at it. We dug a well to slow it down, but even that wasn't enough. Do you think you could draw me a map of the way there? Why? What on earth would you want that for? I'll try to convince him. Stebor dropped something there. Drop something? What? Never mind. You really don't want to know. For Christ's sake, what the hell are you mixed up in now? Oh, Something really whatever. bad, actually. Show me that, I'll draw you a map. I'll go straight to Stebor. Thanks. I'll run to him with it right away. Oof. I've got the map. I got that map from Samuel. What now? Great! Well, first, we've got to get into the mine. That fool Nimoy is keeping watch. It'd be best if we split up. I'll get rid of him, and you can sneak in. Okay. I want I to ask you I something. Have... Why, Why don't do you I have to go inside? Why don't you It's so do dangerous. It? Well, remember when we used to play hide and seek? Yeah. You could never find me. And you always found me immediately, because I was useless at hiding. Yeah. You always He's just had putting me in danger. Out. Exactly. I don't like that. You're right. Best if I do it. For sure. There won't be no. many people inside now. Most of the lads will be outside eating. But even so, watch out. That's all. So I have to sneak in. Let's do all right. it. Let's get it over I with I don't them. like that. Once I get rid of him, you sneak inside past the bushes. And take a torch with you. It's as black as pitch in there. Just make sure no one sees you, though. Good luck, Tess. I got a torch. What kind of a plan is this? Find the discarded sack of silver. I can't hey, believe it. Hey, Nimoy, you rogue. Come here a minute. Oops, 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 Hi. oops, oops. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. What are you looking for, are you? I 
have to sneak in. What do you want, Miller's boy? Looking for a clumsy brother of yours? What's he done now? It's so dark. <gasps> okay. What am I going to find in there? There's ominous music. It's a huge area. I have to find a sack of silver. <gasps> it's going to be a maze. mean to put me in danger like that. <gasps> There's a miner. I mean, he's gonna see me. I'm gonna try. see anything Who's that? <gasps> No one oh. I don't think I'm going in the right way The miller's daughter? Well, that Teresa's a fine wench, and no mistake. But her old man would dunk you in the mill race if you as much as looked sideways at her. Aye, the coin grabbing bastard thinks he'll marry her off to some lord. Haha, <laughs> you're right there. Like a rich man would marry a mill wench. <laughs> I wouldn't say no, though. How am but I supposed to find this in the dark? Am I supposed to go up there? I hear someone mining. I don't think I should go up there. I didn't even check the map though. The map of the flooded shaft. Ah. So I think I'm at the first ladder. I need to take the first path to the right. There's a guard. Here. After, I just have to go down. I'll take a left. OK. 
Okay. So, the ladder... Oh, no. My, that's a hell of a drop. Yeah. Better be careful. Okay. So now... Straight ahead and then left. It should be here. In the water? That's nasty. Oh, oh, that's cold. But this must be the place Stable was talking about. Now to find that wooden walkway. It's here. I see it. I wouldn't want to get lost in here. It just said straight ahead. So... The walkway. The sack must be here somewhere. This? Yes! <gasps> I found it! And then, what should I do? Bring the silver to father. Okay, but now I have to walk around with it? I hope I won't take a wrong turn or something, but I don't think so. I think that's where the two men were talking. <gasps> oh no! I'm lost. <gasps> hey! Oh no, oh no, oh no. didn't see me? How? Okay. He's coming. But the guard is there. Foreman Nimoy? I could run. I've got the silver. I've got your what silver. Now? Thank heavens. You've no idea what a relief that is. I knew you could do it. Take it to par for me, please. Oh, 
Why would you ask Teresa to do your dirty business? Putting me in danger like that. <gasps> Woo! Not there. Those guards are gone. Where's Papa? In the house? Wait. I'm gonna eat a few apples. I got the silver. I found the silver in the mine. Not so loud. Oh, good work, lass. Leave it here, and I'll take care of everything. Thanks. I'd like to say I'm glad to be of help, but I'm not, Pa. It could have ended badly for everyone. Very, very badly. Tess, you know I only want the best for all of you, don't you? Of course, I but... I do, Pa. I know you mean well. Just... He put a lot please, of people in danger. be careful, all right? You and Stebor. Don't worry, lass. We will. Thanks. What about that I surprise think I've earned you it. promised me this morning? Well, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Besides, you deserve it. After helping us with that silver. So? I had a dress made for you in Rattay. <gasps> a very a fine dress. dress indeed. You'll be the prettiest lass in the village. A new dress, Pa. But... I don't understand. Why? Well, you know, you're not a little girl anymore. You're a young woman now, mature and clever. Cleverer than me, for sure. You surely don't want to live here at the mill forever. Samuel's able to take care of himself, and after all that's happened, you don't want to end up with the kind of life me and Stiebel have. What is it, Pa? Why did you buy me that dress? Look, Teresa, you're old enough to be married. It's about time we did something about it. What do you mean? I don't want to get married, but I'd like to see that dress. No, no, Pa, no way. <laughs> I'm not going to get married yet. But I'd like to see that dress, though. Look here, Tess. I found you a suitor. He likes you a lot, and he's a gentleman of good standing. Likes what? me a lot? Who is it? And you didn't even ask me about it? I didn't want to bother you with it until it was arranged. So it's all arranged now? Behind my back? You arrange a wedding for me and I don't even know who I'm supposed to marry? You can't be serious. Teresa, Tess. And are you going to tell me who it is? Or will I find out at the altar? Don't worry. He's a decent man. A nice man. He's even close to the nobility. And he's rich. But that doesn't He'll mean anything. Care of you. There's going to be a fete at the tavern this evening. Sir Radzi gave permission for a pig roast. And... Who is it? You can just have a chat, dance a little, and who knows? You might like him. Are you going to tell me who it is? It's Chief Engineer Tobias. Tobias Fafer? Aye, <laughs> that's right. Are you joking? Uh, Are you pulling my... I don't care if he doesn't what like me for that. What are you thinking of, Father? Fafar has one foot in the grave. Oh, come now. Why didn't you ask me? You couldn't simply let me know what you were planning? Uh, Teresa, uh, listen. It's all, Teresa do this, Teresa go and cook, yeah. Teresa clean up. And now, He's for putting measure, me in danger. Teresa, go and marry an old fossil. <laughs> Does nobody care what I want? But of course we care. They don't. And you're right. I should have told you. You're damned right you should. Good God, I never oh, thought you'd make so such hurt. a fuss about it. It's the way things a are A fuss? Done. Try and see it from my point of view. No thanks. Tobias Fafer is a very well-to-do suitor. You'll find none better in Scullitz. Listen. whoop do. We can talk it over, but the decision is mine to make. You've got to think of your future, Teresa. Master Fafar is a respected man, and that respect will extend to his wife and children too. 
children? He means well, but... For heaven's sake, lass, don't be so naive. You were born a girl, and raising a family is what God made you for. Unless you Ew. prefer the convent. Go to the tavern this evening and let Master Fafer spend a nice pile of groschen on you. You'll have a great time, you'll see. <laughs> Show me that dress, then. It's in the trunk here under the window. Once you've done all your chores, get dressed up and off you go. That's horrible. I have no control over my life. How dare you? You think a dress will fix everything? After what I've done for you? You're wrong! All right, Teresa. Time to grow up, put on that lovely dress, and go and meet your groom. Well, there's no point in dragging it out. Oh, she looks so sad. Is that? Oh no, that was Matthias. Oh, Henry's there. Oh, that's so sad. Oh no. Fart. I can't go. Run away. Yes. Good for her. I will turn my hide for not going to that dance. Oh well. I'd better see him and face the music. Okay. Let's go see what he wants. What's in there? All my groschen. I'll put my plain dress and my scarf. Oh, that's better, actually. And my scarf? Meh. No. About yesterday. Where did you get to yesterday? Master Faithful was here. He said he waited all evening and you didn't show up. I'm sorry. Sorry. Even though I'm not. I, I, when I saw everyone there, Henry with Bianca, Johanka and Matthias, and Faithful there waiting for me. Yeah. You just took to your heels and left him there waiting in vain, eh? I'm they can sorry, all choose. Father. Who they marry oh, and I have to... you always to... had a mind of your own. Just like your ma. I'm not cross with you, Tess. But sooner or later you'll get married. And you can be sure I won't give your hand to just anyone. That's I fine. Know, pa. But next time you could at least ask me what I think. Aye, fair enough, lass. Next time I'll talk Good for to you her. about it. But only if you'll be sensible and go there today. The dance will continue today and Master Feifar will be there. He's paying for everything, see? 
<sighs> but now we'll let it lie. There's work to be done. Uh, will you go and pick up those nails from the blacksmith? He should have them made by now, and that fence isn't going to finish itself. All right, Pa. I'll go and get them. I still have the bow. She's so badass. Let's get these nails. Just you wait, Fritz. You'll get what's coming. <laughs> oh, I remember. You got beat up. What happened? Mother of God. What happened to you? What do you think? I was attacked. That's what. By that horse on Henry. God in heaven, like little boys. Mm. You're nicely bruised. Do something about it. I'm bleeding. Show you Excuse that. me. I'll get you a band. Well, he can do it himself. Well, there, laddie. If you want something from me, ask politely. I'm not your servant. Will you bandage it for me, please? With your attitude, you'd better learn to heal yourself. I've half a mind to slap you. I'll get him a bandage. I'd leave it's you to the bleed, least I can do. but I'd only regret it later. Fool that I am. Wait here and I'll get you a bandage. Don't I have one? I don't. <laughs> I think he has a bandage. How are you? I'm doing well. And let's talk trade. Because I need a bandage. Just one. Those fuckers. Show me that. I'll bandage it for you. I've got something here. Get on with it then. Excuse Enough me. Of your impudence. What were you lot fighting about anyway? That bunch of vandals was throwing manure at the Deutsch's house. <laughs> and when Hans shouted at them to stop, they attacked us. The fuckers. Manure, eh? That explains your new fragrance. Ha <laughs> ha. Fucking hilarious. But I'll get them back. Don't you worry. God Don't have you do mercy. that. You boys are never happy unless you're fighting. Now go and lie down in the mill for a while. You won't get much work done in that state. Goodbye. Always in the evening while there's still a bit of light. He sits down and gets up. Oh, now the house is all dirty. <laughs> I should maybe give back the bow. Who are you? Oh, the bailiff. A shop guard. Where's Adam? Oh, he's gonna be mad at me. Oh, he doesn't speak to me? Okay. I have your bow, but... Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. What about those nails, Henry? Here you are. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? I hear you had a disagreement with Zbyszek in Deutsch. Uh, a little. Sorry, it got a bit out of hand. No need to apologize. I hope that idiot Zbyszek got what he had coming. 
I can't stand him. Well, I thought since he's from the mill too. Well, you thought wrong. He's a pig. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. It ties the story so well together. It's really well done. Sakura. Červená se jablíčko zahráce nám zdálo. Můj milej nic nevidí, na něj že se smálo. Ztratilo se jablíčko v travičce vysoké. Můj milej ho nenajde, bude ho mít jiný. Wow. Rozběhlo se jablíčko ze stráně u řeky. Můj milej ho nechytí, uplave na věky. A human captain. Oh my gosh, it was so sudden. He's just gonna leave her there? We have to shit! <gasps> he pushed me in his arms? Let go of me! No, don't let go! Get off me! Oh, me. Oh, bastard! Oh. Please, stop! 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 Bitch, I have a hit your poor man! Please, leave me alone! Yes. Oh my gosh. A fagbalászló! Te sikert keresél! Egy lány valót bent! Nyisd ki! What am I supposed to do? Flee? <gasps> I'm gonna stealth kill you. <gasps> right in the face or the neck. Wait, I'm too heavy. I'm too heavy. I don't need that. I don't need the chicken feed. I can't drop it. I can't wear that. So... Okay, I thought it was someone. Now... I should equip... The bludgeon. And should I... Hide? What 
does my quest say? Flee! I have to flee! So- <gasps> Don't close the door! <gasps> oh no! I'm gonna try and flee! I'm gonna try and flee! I'm gonna flee! I'm gonna flee. I don't know... I don't know where... But I'm gonna try. I did it! Oh my god, I hope he's safe. I've got to find him. Go to the mines! <gasps> There's cumins everywhere! Oh my gosh. Okay. Why am I so slow? Oh, wait. Okay. Where's that mine again? They're everywhere. Oh my gosh. I don't think I should loot. I think I should just run for it. Wait, I don't know where to go, though. Explore Eastern Mineshaft. Okay, I have to go up. 